What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we are doing another product review. Today we have the PXG 0311P with the Project X 6.5 shaft in it. So this is PXG's mid-level iron. Correct. Uh-huh. Um, Double, it's all forged, um, opened up on the inside. They've got their um, XP and their T. XP being extreme performance, T being the tour. Extreme, sorry. extreme, <laughs> extreme distance. So this would be the middle of the road. You'd probably compare it to like the TaylorMade P790. Uh -huh. um, there's a few other, probably the Zuno's got the uh, JPX, H HMBs, yeah, hot HMBs. Metal mm -hmm. So it's that road. So PXG came out on the scene probably about five years ago now. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, and, and if you're unfamiliar, PXG stands for Parsons Extreme Golf, but everybody in the golf world just calls it PXG. It's came on the scene with irons first. Mm -hmm. They've developed metal woods and putters and all, yeah, really a full line thing. now. Mm -hmm. um, but really the MO of this was the first club to really kind of launch the ball high with as little spin possible, which obviously everybody's kind of started to do, especially yep. tailor-made with the P790 being probably the most popular club in this segment. Mm -hmm. um, and price-wise, it's still a little low. I don't, do you remember what this is off the top of your head? So they actually have a sale going on right now and they are on sale for 349 a club. A club. Regular 420, 430 a right. stick. And I'm not gonna do that math because it'll make me a little sad on the inside. So it's up there um, a set of clubs, obviously seven or eight of them, you could do the math on that at about four bills per club. So yep. um, that's obviously at the time of recording, not sure if that's gonna continue Correct. on for yeah, too I'm much longer. Yeah, I'm not sure how long that sale goes. It's online though right now. So uh, now I will say that this club, um, you know, 1611 here, who obviously we're at, and we're gonna put all this information on TrackMan and kind of see what some of the results are. Mm -hmm. um, they're hosting a fitting day today Correct. Uh -huh. with PXG. So um, they're using some of the clubs. We're hoping that we might get our hands on our driver here in a little bit too. Yeah, they got uh, a new one out. If he's not using it, but um, obviously we have, this head happens to be two degrees upright, which is so far away from my setting and slightly closer, but still far away for you. Yeah. So my set now, I'm actually playing um, two degrees flat. Mm -hmm. Now I actually have these shafts, which is the Project X6.5s, and then I also play mid-size grip, and that is not a mid-size grip. That's probably just standard. Yeah, and I'm, uh, I've am i got a Modus 120, so it's a little bit heavier than that is, and uh, I'm one flat, standard standard length. Perfect, so, all right, well, I'm not gonna compare this to my club just because I hit mine too far, and I'm switching anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I am gonna switch at some point, so at this point, all of our little product demos are Things really are just research. research for me yeah, now. Research, so. search product, uh, research development. Yep, exactly. And I, and I will say just as a disclaimer, neither of us are actually sponsored or staffed by any of the major manufacturers. Nope. Um, and we intend on staying that way so that we can be kind of partial. So if this is the best club we've ever hit, we're gonna say it. If it's the worst club we ever hit, we're probably gonna say it. Um, so with that being said, Aaron is gonna hit a few with his club, yeah. which he's still playing the Shrixon. Shrixon 765s. What shaft do you have in that? Uh, that Modus 120X. Modus 120X, so mm -hmm. now how far do you typically hit your 7-iron? Uh, carries Carry. somewhere in that 80, 79 to 82. Okay. Somewhere in there, so we'll call it 80 on an average. Yeah, okay. May, may get so some. So from a distance perspective, you know, there, there's a couple things you can look at when you're getting yourself a new club, and, and for me, consistent carry distance. Yep. The other thing too we want to get out of like a seven iron, we're gonna hit a lot of seven irons in the greens. So we want to get a reasonable amount of spin. I believe the tour average is 6,800 yeah, RPMs. Like, like we kind of, and what, what we kind of tell, especially amateur golfers, is you can figure about a thousand per club. So about seven iron, about 7,000. Eight iron, about 8,000. Right. Somewhere in there is kind of just a ballpark sure. just to look at. And then of course it depends on shaft, ball, long, all kinds of other stuff. Absolutely. Now, how long have you been playing this iron itself? Um, your set? I've been playing this one for two and a half years. Okay. So you've got it pretty dialed in where yeah, you want it. I'm not a, I'm not a big, tinkerer and switcher of equipment. So the set I was playing prior to the ones that are in the bag now was the Callaway Apex MBs with 7.0 Project X. A little stiffy. Thanks, Darren. <laughs> that was not the easiest club for him to build. Oh, that was a little chunk. And in the past, at least for iron play, because I haven't played as much the last year. I used to play a lot of tournaments and, mm -hmm. you know, probably get on the golf course three to five times a week and tournament play at least once every three weeks. 
Whenever you're ready, we can just flip out. <laughs> I'm good. Um, so, I mean, there's right there, average, average carry, yep. bottom right corner, 180. Or yeah, so right you're, you're carrying it right at 180. Good call, 6,600 RPM. So mm -hmm. a little low for the average. It's actually a little low on the tour average too. Club head speed, the ball speed though. You got a decent dispersion there. So you want to hit this and then I'll hit the next. Sure. Since you're nice and toasty. Good and warm. Don't call it a comeback. All right, here <laughs> we go. 0311. So obviously the first thing we want to hey. see is if the ball speed jumps with all this club head speed moving and or his carry distance goes up. Ball speed jumped. 130. So you went up a little bit in the yeah, average. About two, about two miles an hour from average. Yep. But you, so you gained about a yard and a half off of your average. Mm hmm. A little under. We'll call it two, I'm sorry, two yards off your average. That one's a little bit of a miss, but still so as far as decent. Feel and balance. And, and I will say, again, disclaimer um, balance has changed by shaft. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not playing with a stock shaft in there. That's a six point, a Project X 6.5 is a flighted shaft, which means it's completely smooth mm -hmm. to disperse that shaft, which is kind of the anti what you got going on here. I mean, to a point. With your modus, it's it's gonna want to flex Sturgeon more at the top. Up. Yeah. Um, so, like for example, that shot right there, uh -huh. just from what I feel, was a little, a little bit healy. Okay. So I get a, a little bit of, of right shot, yeah, but not a lot though. I'm <laughs> also seeing that a little healy ball speed didn't really change. I didn't really yeah. miss. I mean, even though I missed it a little bit, carry was still up there. So something I'm gonna after you hit a few more, something I'm gonna mm -hmm. ask you to do is actually try and shape a shoot, shape the. Yep. What I'm gonna ask you to do is shape a few shots after we just kind of hit a few straight, just to see, because that's always the thing too for a better player, is forgiveness is one thing, but you also, you know, a lot of times you'll wanna work the shot to be more mm -hmm. aggressive with certain lines on the golf course. So as far as feel, how does that feel to you? I mean, it feels good. It's pretty soft on the face. Nothing, like I said, that, you know, kind of a little miss here and there. Mm -hmm. Doesn't, it's not real clanky or clunky feeling yeah. or anything like that. If there's one thing that stood out to you, just again, five shots in, mm -hmm. what's that one glaring thing in comparison to your club or really, and you've hit a lot of other clubs too. So yeah. what's the one thing that really stands out more than anything besides it, price? It really, <laughs> yeah. It really does feel softer on miss hits. Okay. That's the. Whereas if you hit your Srixons here. I can feel. You toe or heel a little bit, you're gonna get you a little, little bit. Yeah, feel a little gotcha. click in there, a little clunky. Okay. Yep. All right, we'll see if we can move some here. Yeah, what do you want to do? Just a little, um, I'm gonna make you call easy, it. Not... Yeah, easy, easy hitting a draw for me, so we'll okay. see. As I say that, I may just- Try and do like a little, maybe about a 10 yard draw. Okay. Oh, that's a little chunky one. Gonna be a lot more than 10. <laughs> How about a hook? But you can do it. <laughs> yes, I can get the ball working to the Remind left. me the, the grid, the yardages, is it five? Yes, five and then jumps to 15. So that's like massive hook right there. Gotcha. Club face is closing. Oh, that's yeah. just about, that's about 10. Yeah, about 10, give or take, just uh, about halfway to that second line. Okay. So the big thing I'm noticing too is your carry distance really hasn't changed hasn't with changed doing that. that now, much. now I will say that, which is kind of when typically when you draw the ball, you have a tendency to get your carry distance just a little further because it puts a little bit more of that clockwise spin on the ball. Yep, yep. And so. Spin usually goes down right, which a little it's, bit with the I mean, ball. For a right-handed golfer moving left. Your average went up. Yeah. Hit that one pretty good. Yeah. So again, that's another one where, did you feel like that was pretty on the face? or Yeah. The one before, where was that on the face? It was a little low. A little low, okay. So a little low could have contributed to the mm -hmm. to the lack of distance, but realistically for you at least. I mean the distance isn't, carry isn't changing that much from right, right to left to what I feel like is pretty straight. Yeah, and you're still able to move it a little bit now. How much you can work it at that point, obviously there's gonna be a line that it's mm -hmm. gonna try and, cause a mid-level club or even more of a game improvement club tries to take the left and right misses of those yeah. maybe higher handicap players and take those and bring them to center. So that's working against someone that's trying to intentionally do that. Move the ball. So. Yep. Let her rip. Give you your back. Uh huh? Okay. I gotta tell you, just looking down at it initially, mm -hmm. the top line's a little odd to me. 
the way it, it looks like yeah, it's coming it, up? Yeah, it, it comes up, but it almost looks like it, and it doesn't do it. Uh, yeah, it does actually. It looks like it just bows a little bit right there, and then kind of, Bump so it bumps and then comes and then toes up into like a sharp edge, mm -hmm. instead of just being a gradual. Gradual move up. Yeah. Up, and this maybe that's. I mean, mine goes up, but it's fairly, looking down at it, it looks fairly flat. You right. See, like a big high toe. I will say that this seems like a bigger face. Like the club itself, just from heel to toe. Heel to toe. Is a little bit bigger, especially for somebody like me, who I'm used to playing blades. Mm -hmm. Well, that was left. So one of the things I'm going to struggle with just out of the gates is that this grip is really small for me. Small and upright. I am used to, yeah. Well, and I'm used to a very large grip. Don't worry, I'm good. What was the carry in that first one? Do you remember? Carry was 88. 88. Did so I actually carry further on the first one? We. 92. You're right, because I've healed two of those. Feel Not fairly soft on that. Right. So I'm kind of doing everything you did a little quicker. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of, first one was a miss. Second one I hit straight. Then I tried to draw one, tried to cut one there. Well, my cut still. It's still 90, I mean. It's yeah, 190. Staying, still staying up there. That was thin. A little skinny there. Yeah. Ball speed drop. Only lost three yards. A carry. I think that's the biggest thing I would say is this, they're pretty forgiving clubs. Yeah. Um, you know, the question is, are they forgiving enough to warrant that price jump mm -hmm. from like a P7 or 790? Yeah. Because I believe P790 is like 165 a club, 179 yeah, that's a club. Yeah, that's that Mizuno HMB. It's 165 yep. a stick. left you've got you know like we're doing here that fitting day you know pxg sends their yes their reps in to do all the fitting and do everything so you kind of get that whole pxg experience where they're bringing everything in they've got their custom fitters they bring the van they got everything that they have to offer so you're getting a <laughs> full range of everything that they have all the heads right. all the shafts which they is do, they do a good job of their fittings yeah they do them, um and thing out. you've got someone that's responsive that's going to be a great process i know kind of hamna for instance mm -hmm. is mimic that yeah where they want to do the same thing they send out a guy with a full tour van mm -hmm. gambit of stuff so i'm just get one more do my patent and see if i can john bailey one over 195 or something there it is 94.5. Ah, best one I hit too. Yeah. I just need to swing harder, maybe to get more accurate. Yeah, you gotta swing hard in case Never you hit works it. that way. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, what's your kind of takeaway? I mean, my takeaway, I mean, I think it feels good. It's like we keep saying, it's pretty forgiving on it. It's softer feeling. I think the, the misses are just a little bit more forgiving than more of kind of sure. a classic forged club would be or a blade. Right. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, I mean, overall, fairly impressed with it. I don't think it's too bad. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm, I'm with Aaron on that. You know, it's for the right player. Yes. It's a good option. Is it worth the price tag is really my only kind of question mark. Yeah. I mean, I would, if I was going for that type of like a hollow headed forge stuff, I would want to see the TaylorMades. I'd want to see the mm -hmm. Mizunos. I'd want to see the new Cobra forge techs that they came out with. Oh yeah. I haven't seen those yet. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But you know, with that being said, PXG, it's not as it's a little more widely known now. Mm -hmm. I know when they first came out, everyone, what is that? Yeah, and it's they like and white stuff. Yeah, and golfers for the most part were pretty traditional guys and people. Um, so you know, you get a new brand and you're kind of hesitant to try yeah. it, and you're a little, little skeptical. Yeah, about but it. they've got some tour presence now, which obviously is kind of paid for. But at the mm -hmm. same time, it, it is there, and guys wouldn't play it if they didn't agree with the golf club. I mean, look at the Hamner Rose situation. He, yeah, which that's a way of not to do it, but. <laughs> But anyway, no, I, I completely agree with you. I'd say in the right settings and the right shaft, you know, but it, it's, it's, it's definitely should be in the... It's in the running with all of them. Yep, exactly, yeah. so. All right, guys, thank you all for checking in. Um, anything else y'all wanna see? If there's a product out there that you do wanna see, make sure and comment below, Absolutely. message us, anything like that, and we will do our best. We got a pretty good grasp to be able to get our <laughs> hands on most any golf club out there, new stuff, old stuff, whatever. 
Um, again, yeah, there's a group of guys that came in with some old hickories one time. That's what I just, my head just said, persimmons. Yeah, yeah it's pretty fun. <laughs> um, but PXG, what we were looking at there, the 0311P, overall, pretty good golf club. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I would tell you too, definitely get fit for this. So if you want to know how to get fit for that, please leave a comment below or contact 1611 mm -hmm. directly or Maverick Performance Golf because we work together on a lot yeah. of that stuff. Yeah, we can get you set up with, uh, get the fitter over here. And I would tell you, the as expensive these are, get fitted for yes, them. Make sure they're them. right the first time, you know, to buy a set and then a year later go, dang it. Yeah. So, and that's true with any golf club. Just get fit. It's most of the time pretty inexpensive and or free. Mm -hmm. So. Absolutely. Thank you all for checking in. Look forward to it. Thanks, guys.